Oh no, we lost one. Right down. He wasn't feeling great. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Fit by Jay Lee. Today is the last day of our brunch month. Today, I'm just gonna keep things simple for you guys and we're gonna do a little brunch cheese board. So we're just gonna assemble a nice little cheese board, enjoy. If you're not maybe the best in the kitchen, you're still kind of learning, you wanna impress people that you're having over for a brunch, cheese board's the way to go. Cause all you really gotta do is pay attention to color, make sure you've got a variety of flavors on the board and then you can just kind of let people experiment and have fun and see what different flavors come out of things. So let's get into this. We're just gonna go ahead and start to assemble this as I show you what I'm gonna use. I've got two different types of gluten-free crackers. So this one's got a little more richer flavor. It's more seedy, it's a little more hearty, and that's the cauliflower crisp from Trader Joe's. And then we also have the Good Thins, which are rice-based crackers. So these are a little lighter. They're just sea salt, so they're a little plain, but they'll go nicely and be a nice vessel for a lot of these different cheeses that I got. But as far as fresh fruit, so I always like to start with the fruit and then I kind of fill in the holes that I make as I go. So I've got three different fruits here. I have cantaloupes, I've got strawberries, and I've got some red grapes. So I'm gonna start with my grapes. I like to keep them on the stem when arranging on a cheese plate. And that's a nice bunch, that looks great. You just give them a nice rinse. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna arrange them. Maybe I'll make this like the centerpiece, a little more focal point, but actually I feel like I want it off to the side a little bit. And I can even, just to make it a little more roomy, I'm gonna go ahead, oh yeah, separate them a little bit. So maybe we'll start with this guy in the middle. Yes, perfect. So now we'll do some strawberries. I'm gonna pick like a few. And there's a couple ways you can present strawberries on a cheese board. I feel like you can either, slice them and kind of fan them out like real thin or you can just leave them whole. I'm gonna leave them whole today. A couple in this corner here. And like get creative with your cheese boards. I really just think about color, I think about design. So I'm gonna kind of go for like a fruit diagonal situation. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put out some of this cantaloupe. And this came in like pretty big chunks, so I'm gonna start with some of the smaller pieces that are a little more friendly to grab. Now, I made just a cheese board, not a charcuterie board, so if you want, a great thing that goes with the cantaloupe with the melon is prosciutto. So if you want to add a little meat to this, I would recommend that. But I do have a good smoky cheese in our lineup today that will be a great pairing with this. And all right, let's get into these cheeses. With cheeses on a platter like this, I don't always put the whole wedge out. Usually like we'll cut like pieces of it and put that part out. So first cheese that I picked was this creamy Toscano cheese soaked in Syrah. It's so good, it's really creamy, and then it's got that like sharp kick of the Syrah. That's gonna go really well with the grapes. When you recommend a pairing, like you always wanna think like, Okay, so I'm gonna recommend this cheese with this fruit, but feel free to mix and match too, because you may find like another flavor combination that works a lot better. All right, so Toscano cheese. I've got that kind of next to the grapes on its own little side there. And then we have this Old Amsterdam premium aged Gouda cheese. Foodies are loving this Gouda. I've heard so much about it, I haven't tried it yet, and I'm so excited to try it today. This is the cheese I said, it's a little smokier, so I think it will go really well with the cantaloupe, which is a little sweeter. Savory doesn't have to go with savory. Savory and sweet can go together and make a beautiful combination. So maybe I'll do these wedges like this, little shape arrangement. So we've got Gouda for the melon, we've got the Syrah for the grapes, and then for, and I got a triple cream brie for us today. Nice, yummy French triple cream. So we're gonna get a good big wedge of her because I know Kaylee and I both love a good soft cheese. Oh my God. So we're gonna put her there, and I'm gonna wrap up those cheeses, and then I might add like a few grapes in here and there. Other things you can add would be nuts. I always recommend like macadamia, or almonds, like all great flavors. Walnuts, add a little crispy. You cater this to like what you want. So I made it really full looking and now we're just gonna add those crackers. And this plate, this cheese plate, I got this on Amazon. I love too that it has a little drawer 
and it's got the different knives for the different cheeses. So it's got a soft cheese knife, a nice hard cheese knife, and a medium cheese knife as well. And for meats, it's got a little charcuterie fork. It has chalk with little signs so you can like stick this in the cheese and say like brie. Uh, Kaylee and I know our cheeses, so I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> but I love this board. I will link to this from Amazon below in the description box if you love this cheese board and you wanna get one of your own. This also came with some cute little cups to put in the holes here if you wanted to add a jam. But I'm gonna add some crackers to the sides and we've got our heartier crackers. I'm going to be pairing this with a nice champagne because what goes better with French than champagne? We will be dicing this up, serving this out, and trying all the different combinations. I like feel it's gonna really, woo! I don't have high hopes for the champagne. As I told Kaylee, it was like $5. I nice, liked the label. It has a nice dark color. <laughs> yeah, it's very golden. I feel like I'm weirdly gonna like it. I feel like it's gonna be okay, but cheers. I'm gonna go for this old Amsterdam first because I am. She's she's nice. She doesn't yeah. do anything crazy. I like didn't even acknowledge it. She's very fine. <laughs> she's. I was like, jeez. I kind of want to try that too. I'm curious. Yeah. About this one. I'm gonna try it on its own first, then with a cracker, then with the melon. Mmm. It's creamy. It's smoky. It's very like strong in flavor. Love it with the cracker. On yeah. Its own. She's simple but nice. Mm-hmm. Nice little sliver of melon. Let's see. I'm gonna try mm. just with melon. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. That was the move. Next we have the Toscano. Yeah. On her own, love her. Mmm. Sharp but creamy. It's nice for the cracker. Yeah. The question is, how is she with a grape? Mmm. Mmm. It's hard to go wrong with cheese and grapes. Mm-hmm. But this combo lights you up. I wanna try the brie with a strawberry. Try it. Yeah, I would like bite the strawberry. I was thinking like a was thinking after after bite, bite. Oh yeah, yeah. Bite. Okay. I'm gonna do your thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need the next bite of the strawberry. It just melts. Mm -hmm. Another cheese. great combo. Strawberries and champagne. I mean, you can't ever go wrong with that. Mm -mm. I could just eat this all day. I know, like crazy. Mm. 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 I want to say the one, the first pairing was the one though. I think the brie and the strawberries is actually like my favorite. Mm. Second would be the gouda and the melon. Mm -hmm. And then third would be the Toscano and the grapes. I don't dislike any of them. No. And yes, cheese can be for breakfast. Mm -hmm. I think so. Again, if you want to make this kind of like a cheese charcuterie type of board, I would definitely say a prosciutto with the gouda and the melon. I would maybe add like a salami to the Toscano. And then for the brie, I think she's a standalone. I don't think she needs a meat pairing. Maybe like if you wanted to add a salami and a prosciutto to the plate, yeah. make it a little more meat based. Get some champagne, just throw some grapes and strawberries and melon, get three different types of cheese. And that's, yeah. These are just our recommendations for today. We'll probably do more cheeses because- I have a favorite cheese that wasn't featured today. I know, she loves the port salad. I do. I'll do it next time. <laughs> Let us know if you're gonna make something like this at home. Maybe what are your favorite things to add to a cheese board? What do you think we should add next time we make one? Have a fabulous rest of your day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button so you get notified about future videos. And follow us on Instagram, shoot with CJ, fit by Jay Lee. It's gonna be amazing. We'll be friends. It'll be so cool. Have a, have a fabulous day. Love you. Cheers. Mm. Can we?